So we're going to kick off with the Daily Mail, I think, Leo. That's right. It says, uh, pray they don't end up with a riot at the Cenotaph because Scotland Yard has given the, the green light to a pro-Palestine rally on Armistice Day. So the, the Met Chief Mark Rowley, or Sir, Sir Mark Rowley, uh, has said uh, the, the laws created by Parliament are absolutely clear. There's no absolute power to ban protests and therefore there will be a protest this weekend, yeah. uh, although I mean the, the Met don't seem to be don't seem to stick to law when it comes to you know arresting people for praying silently or sending some sort of retweeting a limerick. Uh, well, so death, death to the West is, is open to interpretation. Well, apparently, yeah. apparently the Met police, uh, who obviously come under the jurisdiction of Sadiq Khan, a Muslim, uh, I'm not saying that's had any influence whatsoever. But uh, but yeah, they say jihad can be interpreted in many different ways. But none the, of them are partic particularly nice ways, though. I suppose in terms of the law. Here, He's no doubt correct, I'll trust him on that, that there is no mechanism for preventing the march. The sense one has is that he would not be inclined to prevent it even if the mechanism was available, though. Would you say that's fair? Uh, yeah, I get that sense of it, but for me, when he's talking about laws, it's like, OK, you know, it's other laws that we have, exactly as you say, are prevent hate speech, which they just, they, you know, we've seen all the po people hanging out these posters, people chanting... You've got laws. Use yeah. your laws, please. Yeah, and instead they're arresting anybody with, uh, with you know, a St George's cross or a union flag yeah. because that, they say, that's, oh, no, that, that's incendiary. That could offend these people who are chanting for genocide. Mm. You know, it's the absolute... We're living in an opposite world. It's weird. Does this feel... Because it does feel to me like this is a new innovation, a, a, or I should just say an innovation. Well, rubbish tautology. <laughs> well, the idea that you police a large-scale event by removing any smaller elements that yeah. might inflame the larger... The, the, the majority. Yeah. Regardless of the fact that it's the majority who are threatening violence, the majority who are chanting murderous slogans, mm. if somebody appears carrying a cross of St George, as you say, or, or God forbid, you know, the Star of David, then that is considered to be the, 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 the provocative act. Yeah. Well, this, this weekend they might not be the minority because yeah. there have been calls for, uh, for British uh, patriots to, to come out and stage a counter-protest and shut down, or certainly protect the cenotaph, and I can absolutely understand. I won't be down there myself, you know no. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get saying... punched in the face. But, yeah, I can totally understand that, that sentiment. Um, and, uh, and, and so people are saying, oh, far-right jobs. Far right. How is it far right to want to protect the, the cenotaph on Armistice Day? I know. I suppose the only danger is that that is in itself a trap which will uh, allow certain elements to portray those people as the thugs. Yeah, but I mean, I think our authorities, the state has failed us in this instance. So I can understand why people are taking the situation into, well, the, into the I mean, hands. all that footage of uh, also of just police just being like endlessly harassed, having fireworks yeah. fired at them, and they're just sort of standing there. It's a numbers game, I guess. Are they, they, for them, success is the immediacy of, of riots not breaking out, I guess, yeah, yeah. and them not getting defeated just by having less of them. But the, but the fact is that, as, as you say, it's a state issue here. We need larger numbers of police or the army to come in yeah. so we can ensure that our laws of this land are upheld. Yeah, and, and, by some, big... and, and their dignity is preserved as well. It's yeah. very disturbing yeah. and unsettling for citizens to watch footage of police officers being obviously humiliated, spat at, abused. Yeah. Didn't mm. Boris buy a water cannon? Mm. I mean, surely of all the times to crack it out, this would be perfect. I think it was broken down for parts, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be time to reassemble it swiftly. 